Day 10. This is Redhead Goes Healthy. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am on a 21 day reset challenge where I am focusing on bettering my mind, body, and soul. If you're interested in learning more about that, feel free to click the video above or just check out my daily goals posted below. I got a busy day today, so we're just gonna go right into it. I had a calorie cut day yesterday, so I woke up feeling a little hungry today but nothing that I can't handle. I'm getting used to intermittent fasting. Today is a regular calorie day, so I'm very excited about that, just to go back to 2,000 calories a day and just maintain a deficit. So let's jump right into my mind. So we have made it to chapter six already. Chapter six is all about exploring innocent mistakes that we make when we're trying to go through our journeys of healing, self-reflection, and integrity. It's important to point out that oftentimes we know that we're hurting, but sometimes we don't know the reasons why we're hurting or suffering. Martha Beck calls these errors of innocence, which I really like because it's non-judgmental. We find ourselves making these errors of innocence when we allow cultural assumptions to infiltrate how we see the world and how we see ourselves. It's our job to figure out what these assumptions are and to kind of determine whether or not these assumptions are an actual reflection of who we truly are deep, deep down. What's interesting is she says that whenever we believe a lie, that we haven't really interrogated, we have this tendency for self-sabotage. We make all these plans for ourselves and then we end up failing or not succeeding and we don't follow through on our plans. I feel like I relate to this with basically every diet I have ever tried. Perhaps the reason we're not able to reach our goals or to follow through with our plans is because it's actually not true to who we really are. At first, I'll be honest, I didn't fully agree with what she was saying. And for those of you who do decide to read this book, I would absolutely love to start a conversation in the comments just about like how that lands with you, how that either resonates with you or doesn't resonate with you. I thought she was suggesting, like let's just take a diet plan for a second. I thought she was suggesting that the reason why we go off track and we end up eating junk food or we end up not working out is because our true selves are not meant to work out or eat healthy. Thankfully, she continues with uh, this exercise that sort of helped me to see that she's not quite saying that. What she is trying to suggest is that there are things that we might have done before, you know, like sticking to our diet plan that might have led us to self-sabotage. So for instance, just to give an example, for me. One of the things that I'm trying to do is work out every single day on this challenge and I hope that that sticks. I just want it to be a part of my lifestyle. I want to be somebody that works out every single day. In the past, there might have been days when I was just like, oh gosh, I just, I don't really want to work out today. I, I, I just, I can't, I don't have time for that. I, I don't have time for that. Now it's not as if she is saying that my unwillingness to work out is actually like a reflection of my truest self. Instead, she asks us to what she calls walk the cat, which I guess is a phrase from espionage. I have no idea, that's just what is in the book. Um, basically what this involves is tracing back your day up until the point where you just kind of did not follow through on your plan. What assumptions were you making before that moment happened? And if I really think about an instance like this, the assumption that might have been on my mind before I didn't follow through on my workout routine would have been, I'm so busy and in order to be a productive member of society, I have to make sure that I'm constantly doing something. I'm exhausted now and now I truly just don't feel like I can work out. So the lie is not working out as good for me. The lie is that I need to be busy and productive all the time because then I end up getting burnt out. And that's actually not, when I really think about it, 
that's not a true value that I have. I don't think that we need to be productive all the time. I don't think that we, you know, need to constantly be busy and not make room or space for rest. I am a firm believer that in order to have self care, we need to have these moments of rest. So again, that's sort of how I understood what she was saying. I found this chapter to be a little bit puzzling, but challenging at the same time in a good way. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the next 10 pages. All right, now we're gonna go to the body. Feel free to meditate with me today. Uh, you'll see there's a thunderstorm, so I kept the music pretty low so you could hear the rain. And uh, if you stayed tuned, you'll see the sun come out, which was really cool.
right, daily goals for today. Remember, I'm not weighing in every day anymore. I read the 10 pages. I closed my move ring at 700 again. And then total calories burned today was 2,400. Check. Uh, the type of day was a regular day and the calories consumed was 2,000, exactly. So check, check. And I meditated for five minutes and then I filmed and uploaded this accountability video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.